Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair, and this is another video on using EpiInfo. Uh, and in this video, we're going to uh, test for correlation between variables. So, let's pull up EpiInfo here, and we'll be using the Visual Dashboard again. <coughs> So, what we're going to do is right-click on the dashboard, go to Add Analysis Gadget, Advanced Statistics, and select Linear Regression. Now, for outcome, we'll use the uh, ill variable again and age is our field. Click Run. You'll see we get this these, this uh, solution returned here. So this, this contains the linear regression um, that we did. We've got a <coughs> coefficient here. Um, standard error, p-value. Uh, in addition, this gadget gave us um, r-squared, the, the co correlation coefficient, um, and it also gave us a Pearson's correlation analysis and uh, Spearman's row correlation analysis. And in both of those, we've got the coefficient, the t-statistic, and the p-value. <coughs> um, once again, it, it you know it re it's returning to us several tests in in a single gadget, and it's important to keep in mind uh, which test you know might best match the data that you're using. <coughs> One interesting thing I, I'll point out here too is this. Uh, uh, in this, these videos, we've been conducting multiple tests, and they're all here. Um, this visual dashboard, you can, you know, keep adding tests to, uh, and uh, save it when you're done, and come back and add more tests and gadgets, and it just keeps growing and growing, so that the things you've done or with a data set are all here for you to scroll back through and look at. So, well, I hope this video has been helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.